Now guys, we've all been there, now and again, where we've had our own PS4 controller, our kids have got hold of it, and they end up mashing up the charge socket to the front. Well today, I'm just going to show you a quick gadget which will help solve the charging issues with your PS4 controller. So at the moment, we've ordered a new charge socket, this is the second one, and we're going to show you guys how to charge it through that rear charge socket. So yes, today we have got this, uh, how do I pronounce it? Ebonacol? Ebonacol? Ebonacol! Dual charging dock. Well, it's for PS4, it's for the wireless controller for the PS4, and it does work with a PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro. I've got the little example of the depiction of the charge unit to the front. The working current is 1.5 amps. I did order this product from Amazon about a week ago. It does cost about 14 to 15 pounds. That's around 16 to 17 in US dollars. But you know what? There's not much to look at on the outside. Let's head inside. Right, first things first, let's have a look at all the unnecessary paperwork. So we got a three year warranty, 45 day return, and all that stuff. We do have. Is it instructions? Yes, it's a user manual. Well, that's a user manual sheet. Look at that drawing! Who drew that? Look at all the little. Looks like Crichton's head from Red Dwarf. What do we have? Obviously, it's going to be a micro USB. Is this a micro USB charge cable? It is a lengthy. Not bad to length. And let's have a look at the charging unit itself. So, the charging unit. Hang on. How come people love that? People are doing ASMR now with the... That's weird. What are you doing? Pulling it off? Anyway, so we get the two charging docks. Everything's quite simple, in fact. Uh, we do get four rubber sturdy feet. Is it sturdy, though? It is, actually. We do get a DC in. So, yes, that's where the micro USB charge cable goes. At least that's not going to be yanked in and out like the PlayStation controller. Ah, they want to charge it. Oh, yank, yank, yank. It's my controller as well. They've got their own. They've already damaged that. So I guarantee they're going to be going, Dad, can you use the dad controller? Dad, uh, I don't know. No. Yeah, everything is quite simple. The working voltage is DC 5 volts and the working current is 1.5 amps. But yeah, let's plug it in and let's have a closer look at that front display. So as you can see on the front of the uh, display, we do get green PlayStation controller symbols. So the green means nothing's inserted. And what we're going to do is we're going to place this PS4 controller into the charge socket just like so. Okay, this controller is a bit dusty actually. So as you can see now, red indicates charging. When it's fully charged, the PS4 controller symbol will indeed illuminate in green indicating that it's fully charged. So at the moment, this PS4 control is fully dead. We're gonna leave it on. I mean, let's see how long it actually takes to charge. And yeah, I'm pleased to say out of the two and a half hours stated, this PS4 controller only took just over that two hour mark to fully charge, which is pretty good. It is suggested that you do use a two amp charging adapter for charging as any other charging adapter such as the one that comes with your supercharged mobile phone it will bring up many problems including a chance of damaging the charging unit itself so yes plugging it into the playstation that's good and using a two amp plug that's also great too yeah ps4 controller is fully charged you can indeed insert the two at the same time it will charge in the exact same manner around about the same charge time too but yeah, that's it. Simple charger that answers my problem. So yeah, if you've got a kid who likes to plug in that uh, micro USB charge cable into the front of your PlayStation 4 controller, you likes to damage it because too impatient to charge one and use the other, this charging unit may be for you. I mean, this dual charging dock actually does charge this PS4 controller a lot faster than it actually used to using that front charge port. So yes, this Babonacule dual charging dock is pretty good. I do advise you to uh, get one. It will solve any unnecessary damage to your PS4 controller. So yeah, I'm going to be using this from that one. Charge one on the go. Use this PS4 controller to play, yeah, The Last of Us 2. But what would I give this bib on a cool dual charging dock out of my usual rating out of 10? Well today, <laughs> simple really. No complaints, no negatives. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It did the job. I do like the display to the front, very cool. And it's just simple. Simple, cheap, £14, there you go. 
yeah guys if you like this video today please go ahead and smash that like button please go ahead and subscribe i'd really much appreciate it and while you're there make sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys will stay updated on all my new uploads i'm gonna do some more reviews and stuff like this from that one i think yes so stay tuned to that on my uh, channel and well thanks for watching peace Thank you.